Hey, what's up everybody? So I was just on a 10 minute live and had no idea that I could not be heard because of my air conditioning. It is so hot in LA. So I'm gonna, I have to do this super quick because now I'm burning up in the car. Um, but I wanted to encourage anyone and everyone that is a caregiver for someone with dementia to get your loved one a power of attorney ASAP. Please do not do what I did and my mom. Um, we care for my grandmother. I've been caring for her for five years now. She's had dementia for about nine years and we waited too long. We waited too late and now we have to go through, we have to, we're going to have to jump through a lot of hoops to be able to get power of attorney for her. But you know, power of attorney, they're pretty serious. You know, they want to make sure that the person really understands what kind of power they are handing over to another individual. Doesn't even matter if it's a, a daughter, a son, a granddaughter, you know, a spouse, they want to make sure that they, you know, really understand. And my grandmother, by the time we realized that she was not going to be able to make any medical decisions or, you know, her mind was really, her memory was really going. Um, and she wasn't even able to like physically communicate, like her voice is even, um, she speaks in jumbled speech at this moment. And she's been speaking that way for um, like a year and a half now. And she'll randomly say something clear here and there, but so, you know, now she's not going to be able to just go into, um, go up to, an, you know, we're, we're not going to be able to schedule a normal appointment with a notary and, you know, have them ask her questions and her consent and say, yes, I understand. I am passing over my, you know, um, my right to make medical decisions over myself. She's nowhere near, near able to do that. So we really took a huge L, um, not, and again, we just didn't know because, you know, nobody really told us that eventually we would have to do something like that. And if, and we're not even thinking like, oh, she's going to lose her ability to speak. Like we didn't even know how this whole thing would unfold. And so that's why I am, um, you know, making sure that I am sharing as much as I can on, um, this journey being a caregiver for my grandmother. So, um, so my aunt, so I care for my grandmother and my aunt, that's her, that's her mother. It's my mom's sister. And so my aunt is married and her, um, her mother-in-law has dementia. She's 91. She's so sweet. She's so freaking cute. And thank God she's still able to speak really clearly. She's still able to like do a lot of things on her own. Um, but you know, she's about in her mid stages and I, I was having a conversation with my aunt a couple days ago. She actually came to visit my grandmother and, um, you know, I said, you got to get your mother-in-law power of attorney ASAP because now we can't, we can't even do it for grandma. You know, we're going to have to, you know, you know, have her put her mask on, you know, get her together, you know, put her in the wheelchair, wheel her into a, a courtroom, which that, that is like a danger zone for somebody with dementia because there's so much sensory going on with just like the hustle and bustle of things. And then her sitting there and waiting it's just too much. And then she would have to be in front of a judge and she'd be overwhelmed. Like, am I going to jail? Like, why am I even in here? You know? So, um, I don't know what we're going to do. So I will let you guys know what we end up doing with that situation, but it is very difficult. It's very disheartening to always have to deal with not being able to, um, get information, you know, medical information over the phone. It's very frustrating. We do have advanced directives, um, set up, but there's so many different departments that you have to do it for each individual department. So nonetheless, um, I had, uh, I encouraged my, my aunt to do it ASAP. So we, um, went today, she set up a, an appointment with a notary at a UPS. So if you don't know where to get it, you can get it at a UPS. I'm not sure where else you can get it, but you can get it at a UPS, make sure that call and make sure that there's a notary there, set up an appointment. They will ask, um, the person with, with you know, the individual, um, in this case, it's people with dementia that I'm referring to. Um, they will ask a person with dementia, Hey, you know, do you understand what you are doing? You know, there's a whole script and, um, he has to really make sure that they understand. And she, at first she was struggling a little bit, you know? Um, and, but then she was like, you know, yes, I understand that I am passing over my, you know, medical decisions. So that way, you know, they keep me safe and stuff like that. So it, it ended up, thank God working out. But, um, it's like if we had probably, she had probably waited like a couple months, it would have been a no-go. So I just really wanted to get on here and encourage everybody, um, anybody caring for someone with dementia to please get that power of attorney ASAP before it gets too late. And, um, it's already tough enough t taking care of somebody with dementia, but you don't want to have to deal with additional things that could have been prevented. So... Um, I will keep you updated with what we do with my grandmother with power of attorney, but, um, 
because I asked the notary guy today, I said, you know, I, I, I've kind of heard some things. I've talked to some other, you know, people in the field, but what do you, what, what do you say? And he's like, yeah, you're going to have to get with an attorney and then the attorney's going to have to set you up with a judge and, and do all that. And it's like, we're in the middle of a pandemic. You know, how am I going to get my grandmother, you know, to go through that like that? I mean, but we're going to have to just figure out something. So, so yeah, that's where we're at. If you are someone that's like, Oh, I don't really know. I'm not really sure what stage she, they're in. Um, get with your doctor. Um, get an opinion, you know, a professional op opinion from a doctor or someone like a nurse that has dealt with people that have had dementia or um, a nurse that has had a lot of experience with individuals that have had dementia. Um, also talk to your family about it and, um, you know, just definitely look into it. Um, I wouldn't take it. I would not really go another day without, you know, figuring that out because you will run into issues and it is very frustrating and some things you just can't. You can't even, you know, try to, to bypass because they have to have that power of attorney or an advanced directive. And even if you have an advanced directive, there's so many different, you know, departments and you have to wait, you know, like if you're calling and you need information at that moment, they're like, oh, well, are you on file? And then you're like, well, I was on file. You know, I, I thought I was on file. And they're like, well, no, you're actually on file with this department, but not this department. And you're like, aren't you all disconnected? It's just too much. So just do me a favor and don't do what me and my mom did, which was wait too long. So, um, definitely if you have any questions or suggestions for me, please hit me up in the DM comment down below. Please share this with anyone that could help from it or that, um, can benefit from it. And, um, I will be doing more of these. Um, you know, things have been getting, you know, really, really serious with my grandmother. So I haven't had a lot of time. Um, you know, I've been really focused on her. And so, and also just keeping my, you know, my stress level and my mom's stress level, you know, out of balance. So at a good balance. So, um, so yeah, um, that is it. I am cooking up in here. So I'm going to turn my air back on and get off here. Um, and I will see you guys soon. Holler.